Imagine you can add a third dimension to all the photos you take, whether it be your phone or camera or drones or whatever device you have. Now let's say we can do the same thing for the entire globe. So that's the power of spaceborne lidar data that we are talking about here. And NASA just released a new spaceborne lidar which is one of its kind and in this video I'll be walking you through where to find it and how to download it. Hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel. For the guys who are new here hi there I'm Mikey and I'm a graduate student from UC Berkeley working in the remote sensing sector. Uh, whether you're a researcher or a student working in the remote sensing space or even if you're someone just remotely interested in three-dimensional modeling or imagery or those kind of things i uh, think you will find this channel really interesting here i have tried my best to keep the content very simple yet detailed and hence it should be very easy for you guys to understand and it's like palatable for people ranging from school kids to the experts the whole idea of this channel is to encourage more people to get involved in spatial and data science related topics by offering a pathway to apply the concept they know for making a difference. So let's get to the real deal for this video. As you know in my previous video I gave you a glimpse of what NASA's Global Ecosystem Dynamics Investigation aka JRI data specifics are. And in this video, we'll be seeing where we can actually find those data and how we can download it. In case if you haven't watched my previous videos on LiDAR, I highly recommend checking those out. The link to the playlist will be somewhere here on the top of this video, all up simple videos, and they should give you a solid background on the topic. So here we go. Open your favorite browser and just Google uh, not Netflix uh, and NASA Jedi. This should take you to the Jedi main page, which is actually maintained by the University of Maryland. To be honest, it's a pretty cool website and you can find almost everything related to Jedi here. But hey, I know you don't have all the time in the world to ponder over these things and that's what I'm here for. So no worries. I'll provide you with all the basics and show you where you can find things so that you don't have to spend hours and hours scrolling through the website to locate relevant information. Let's get into the data section. And before downloading the data, let's check out what are the products available. Here you can see that the data products are available and also further details such as resolution and those kind of things. Uh, what you'll be downloading are the level 1 and level 2 data. As of now, we are able to download level 1b, level 2a and level 2b data and also we can derive the products that are mentioned there. Go back to data and click on access. Here we can locate the sites for each level of data. Since we are now focusing on the level 1 and level 2 data set, let's click on the NASA LPDAC website. New level data would be up later in 2021, I guess, and hence we can revisit this page later. Here, go to the data and click on the search data catalog and enter JRI. So apart from JRI, you can also find a lot of other amazing data sets here, such as hyperspectral and everything else. Uh, for now, click on any of the JRI data sets. These quick guides here and uh, those kind of things, they are actually very super helpful. And there is a lot of information in the website which you will need while you are doing the analysis. But to be honest, I felt that given that there are a lot of things, it's kind of hard to locate them. They are, they are spread, kind of spread out. And sometimes it feels like it's just by luck you will run into these kind of things. This is the case especially when you do things like quality assessment and quality control, those kind of things. For now, let's not worry on those. And again, hey, I'm here to do all the background work. So I'll keep you posted on this. Here, once again, click access data and you will see a lot of options on tools. I usually go by the Earth data because it provides you with a lot more control and options in my opinion and you kind of know what you're downloading here and again click and click and click 
click on the launch data. And finally, we are here. So, yeah, uh, I know that these look like very tedious work, but it's actually not like that. You can just get to the site directly. Okay, now you're like, why in the world did I make you waste your five minutes of your life practicing your cooking skills? Well, you know, I have done my homework on YouTube algorithms as well. <laughs> and this is what YouTube has taught me to keep the viewers on board. No, not really. Just kidding. Uh, the reason why I showed you all these details is to help you get an understanding of the options you have got here and the kind of data and products that are available. And in case if the proposed workflow doesn't work, now you know what are the alternative options you have. And also, come on, let's give some credit to the creators and scientists behind Jedi. This is an awesome and useful data set and if you're using it, at least I think you should know who made these things possible, right? So back to the story, to download the data, you need to have an account. It's pretty straightforward. Just take a minute and get this done, thing done. Um, and since I already have an account set up, I'm just gonna log in here. Um, this don't usually take that much time. Okay, here we go. Type in Jedi here. You can see je three Jedi data sets are available. Uh, let's go with the level one data because we are beginners and this is a tutorial. So obviously, let's go with level one. So this is it, guys. This is where you can download all the data in the world. All the available Jedi data are listed here. So each Jedi granule here contains data for an entire orbit. This is a massive amount of data and you might want to double check your storage space before downloading a ton of data here. And if you remember in my previous video, I had explained how these beams are spread out and the area each footprint covers. Again, if you want to know more about the specifics of the Jedi letter data, check out my previous video in which you can find a description about all these kind of things. I'll be attaching a link somewhere here on the screen or description section below or so that you can easily find it. Anyways, uh, for each granule here, you can find information on things such as data acquisition, date, uh, orbit number, all those kind of things. Here on the right side, you will also find a lot of options like we see when we are using ArcGIS or other NASA data management platform. So let's say you're interested in getting ladder data for some specific study, study area. And since the major focus of the Jedi is the tropics, let's go to say Borneo. Use a rectangle tool to draw a polygon that defines your study area. Let's imagine that's your study area. Uh, oh, looks like there are no Jedi data available for your study area. So what will you do next? Look for an alternative site, right? Well, don't. Because the spatial query options available here are not functional yet. Yet. Then uh, now again, you will be like, why wasting my time, bro? Because you need to know what don't work as well, right? It's equally important, but don't worry. I got it covered. There are other ways to subset data for your area of interest. However, let me first show you how to download a granule here and the kind of options we got. So let's go ahead and select a granule and hit that download button. It might take a few seconds to load the options here. There are primarily three options to download the data. And uh, if you click on more info, it will give you a better idea on the specific. I usually choose the customize options as that give us more freedom to select like area of interest or yeah, those kind of things. And I recommend you doing the same. You can see all the new options that became available here. This spatial subsetting is what we need to use for subsetting and I'll be covering that in my next video. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe. And you have like similar options for temporal subsetting as well. These are actually not needed in our case as we are choosing just one granule. We have option to narrow down on beams as well. 
if you remember in my previous video i had mentioned what each of these beams represent and you might want to choose accordingly if i remember correctly i think the beams starting with uh, zero zero those first four things are actually the coverage beams and the other four are the full power beams so four here let's just choose one for now and hit that download button well that's pretty much it you can see the status of your download request here um if you had selected the same options as me you would also get an email update and a link to download okay this is still running uh, i'm not gonna waste another 10 minutes of your life here so if you're still watching this video thanks a lot for your time and patience and for helping this small youtuber make a difference i have already downloaded some other similar data sets and i can just show you how your downloaded file will look like so this is a granule and it's a 8 gigabyte large and this is very normal but this is with all the beams so if you if you select just one beam like the tutorial i showed you it will just take maybe one gb or less also note that the file here is of h5 format so this is a kind of data file which has a lot of arrays of scientific data like multi-dimensional data and saved in something called hierarchical data format the Data can be actually downloaded in other formats as well, such as I think GeoJSON and all. However, I have found H5 files to be pretty compatible with programming software such as R, which is what I use. Anyways, uh, let's dig into those aspects in the coming videos. In the next video, uh, I'll be showing you how to read in these H5 files in R and also how to subset them. So, yeah. Stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe. Uh, once the new videos are up, I shall share the video link in the description section and also attach a shortcut somewhere here on the screen. As I was for now, keep hustling, guys. Till next time, ciao.